And so it begins, a new arc, the Thousand Year Blood War. What's up everybody, for Neville World here today to do a review of Bleach Chapter 480, the first chapter in this brand new arc, coming fresh off the full brain arc. And after a three week break, we finally get, you know, the first chapter of this arc and off the gate they are promoting you know just the final arc thousand year blood war um you know a lot of different things and it starts off already with a, a bunch of color pages a color spread i believe it was like the first four pages the first three pages were all in color and um i like the way they the presentation of the beginning of the chapter was you know opening and basically letting you know this is it <laughs> you know this is the final uh, arc of bleach and you know they're promoting it heavily so uh, it starts off with the uh, captain of the 12th division and a couple of other uh, shinigamis they're actually in soul society and already stuff is going down apparently uh, hollows are disappearing like at a alarming rate and they're saying that it's a certain party and you know it just kind of cuts off from there and to start off there okay so already we know that there's problems and you know off the gate it's not going to just slowly creep in so this is going to be uh definitely a, a far departure from the previous arc with the full brings where you know the villains were slowly you know already off the gate first couple pages stuff is going down you know and it's going to get crazy. But then we jump to, uh, you know, the beginning of the chapter or, you know, the rest of the chapter, shall I say. And it's basically uh, some rookie Shinigamis that they're going to be taking over for, I believe his name is Zanosuke. You know, the guy that, uh, with the afro that he basically guarded Katakura Town or whatever. You know, he always had problems and everything. And he was very unreliable. And I believe that's probably why they're getting re two replacements for him, two of them. Uh, I believe one was named Yuki and one was named Shino. And it was funny to see that, uh, Shino was kind of, um, because it was, Shino's a girl, Shino was just like bossing Yuki around, not really bossing him around, but just calling him a coward, because, uh, Yuki was just like petrified, he, the night before his, uh, first day, he stood up all night, and, you know, he was just petrified to be a Shinigami, and it's weird, because, you know, petrified to be a Shinigami, but, you know, uh, this is, I guess, their first couple of days, and it was cool to see if it felt like, you know, a little refreshing start, some new Shinigami, some new characters, and stuff like that, and for the most part, for the chapter, it was just setting up for these two, and particularly, like, you know, they actually, it seems as though they don't want to bother Kurosaki Ichigo too much, because they're like, we only want to call him if it was absolutely necessary, which is probably them trying to give him what he wants, and at the same time, still if they need him they will as far as you know give him let him have his normal life you know not always have him go after every single freaking hollow that appears let him have his normal life but when we need him we're gonna get him uh and you know so i i kind of see that that's pretty good and that works out you know story-wise as far as the whole thing of ichigo being confused of like you know i, I want to save people at the same time i want my normal life well he gets the best of both worlds with something like that so uh you know that aspect i really thought that that was the perfect way to go about with that whole situation. Then, uh, basically, some hollows appear, and this is their first mission, you know, the first time they got to go out there and prove themselves, and they just don't got it in them so far. From what I've seen, they look like terrible, uh, re well, I guess not terrible replacements because uh, Zanosuke himself, or however you pronounce his name, I forget, uh, he wasn't really that good either. He was always unreliable. You know, Kurosaki always had to come rescue him each ago. So, off oh, the gate is not much of an improvement, or really, it's just, hey, an another uh, couple of nobodies are going to come and try to do things. And basically, uh, Shino, I believe, is captured by the Hollows, and then Yuki is like getting dusted already beat up and about to get killed both of them and then of course Ichigo comes and he basically tells them off like yo if you can't even replace this guy and be as good as him then you're worthless and uh you know the chapter basically ends like that but we do see a mysterious shadowy figure lurking already so we already got some villains we already got we we see that they're watching we see that hollows is appearing and judging from a lot of the interviews that uh Kubo has given over the past couple weeks um, I'm, I'm curious as to exactly what's going on. I, I feel like already from judging from how it started, I'm kind of wondering if already a couple of uh, villains from the past are coming back or something like that because the way they described it and everything, I don't know, possibly maybe already the Iran cars. I don't think he would introduce them that quick, but possibly the Iran cars are already coming, you know, b back into play and stuff like that. Possibly some, uh, some of the Espada, so, uh, I don't want to jump into that, because I think it's way too early for discussion, but, uh, definitely things are already starting up in the first, uh, chapter, you know, no, 
games. This is already the uh, last arc. It was heavily promoted, and I, I liked the chapter. I thought it was something, you know, this is the way we're going to start it off, and it didn't start up slow or anything like that. So looking forward to seeing where the arc keeps going, and I'm, you know, just really looking forward to enjoying the final arc of Bleach because at the end of the day, after it's over, it's over. You know, no more new stuff, so... Uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of the chapter. What do you think? How are, you know, what are some of your predictions of how this arc is going to go so far based off this chapter? Any predictions on who, maybe, if the villains, we know them, who they might be? And, you know, just overall, what do you think of the situation that's going on based off this chapter, uh, chapter 480 of Bleach? But that's all I have for this particular review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up because uh, we're finally in the final arc and, you know, definitely deserves because at the end of the day, Bleach has had its problems. But going into the final arc, I want to be positive about it and, you know, bring good energy to the, you know, the closure of it. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I'm Benevol World and have an awesome day, people.